first time I saw you, I just couldn't focus on one specific part because everything about you is so perfect. I would tell people about you and they'd give me these looks of disbelief, but it just made me so happy every time I saw you that it just got to the point where I became addicted. I remember the warmth of your touch and the way your shoulders would go up a little when you smiled. It got to the point where I couldn't even fall asleep without thinking of you. It was interfering with my job all my deliveries were getting backed up. I couldn't focus on anything else because every time I was doing something, all I was thinking of was, well, you. Then the session started. The doctor studied me as I laid in the chair talking, and all I could talk about was you. She was crazy. She kept saying I had to let go of you and how it can't be that difficult. Don't worry, babe. I wouldn't do that. I couldn't. I told her my favorite things, and I mentioned how I can't wait to see you at night. She told me to start writing in this journal and write about my dreams and especially write to you. I didn't do it at first because I didn't want to be part of some science project, but then I started and it became pretty fun. I missed you. And I know you didn't like me showing you off to everybody, but people didn't believe me when I said we were the most amazing couple. They didn't believe me when I said I had the most amazing girlfriend. You're beautiful and people should see us together. Then, things started to get bad, and I swear you're here, but you're not. Days are merging together, and nights are even getting shorter, but I'm seeing you less and less, and I'm afraid you'll actually <laughs> drift away. Maybe that's a good thing, and maybe the only way to get better is to lose you. Even though you've redefined my definition of beauty, that no other girl can live up to, and I spent countless nights just laying in bed thinking about us. Us. Was there ever an us? There is no us. And all I know is that I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And if I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I should do. Today's session has brought me to the realization that you're just a, just a dream. And I have to accept that and try to regain my sense of reality. And babe... It all starts by letting go of you. Sincerely, Alex Pratchett.